Hello beautiful souls, it's me Krypton. Welcome back to my channel and today we will be reviewing the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence SPF 50 Plus with a PA of 4 pluses. So before anything else you guys, I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So today we will be talking about two types of sunscreens that are being used for this sunscreen right here. So the first sunscreen that they used is called Uvinol A Plus or Diethyl Amino Hydroxybenzoyl Hexyl Benzoate. It is a new generation chemical sunscreen which is not available in the US market yet. And it is a photostable photo chemical sunscreen compared to other sunscreens. Now, compared to chemical sunscreens that are <clears throat> usually made in the US or in Canada, like Evo Benzone. And it has a high UVA protection and it has a sun protection in the whole UVA range from 320 to 400 nanometers with peak protection at 354 nanometers. And I believe UVA protection is very important for our skin because it protects our skin from wrinkles, fine lines, sagging skin, um, dark spots, melasma, hyperpigmentation, you name it. You know, a lot of people are looking for the fountain of youth, <laughs> if that even is a thing, but it probably is. Um, you know, a lot of dermatologists would probably tell you that your first defense is a good broad spectrum sunscreen. And I remember Cyril Lohant um, discussing about how important it is to use a sunscreen that has a very high protection. He always tells his viewers to use an SPF of 50 plus because a lot of people don't use enough amount of sunscreen when they apply it on their face and on their in their on their body so it is very important you guys to find the right sunscreen for you and it is actually quite hard to find the right sunscreen for you because a lot or some sunscreens might feel or may feel sticky or itchy burning or whatever <laughs> and Anyway, so the second chemical sunscreen that they use is called Uvinol T150 or it's also called Octel Triazone. I'm reading some script here, you guys. I got the information from NC Decoder, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, like I said, this is also a new chemical sunscreen. It's not, av it's not available in the US market yet, unfortunately, but I'm hoping it will be soon. And it has the highest photostable absorption of all available UVB filters. It also protects our skin in the UVB range from 280 to 320 nanometers with a peak protection of 314 nanometers. So this is also great for our skin because it protects our skin from being burned. And one thing that you guys should remember that SPF alone is only for UVB. That's what I remember from watching a lot of YouTubers. That's why it's very important to purchase a product that has a great amount of UVA protection as well. That's why a lot of people would tell you, look for a product that says broad spectrum so that at least you would get like a decent or respectable amount of protection from UVA. Um, let me just discuss the beneficial ingredients that this one contains. So this one contains glycerin, niacinamide, um, panthenol, beta-glucan, what else do we have here? Adenosine, sodium hyaluronate, anthemis nobilis flower oil, I think that is a chamomile oil, correct me if I'm wrong, hippofe rhamnoids oil, Tocopherol and Alantoin. So this one contains great amount of ingredients that would soothe and calm your skin. Like um, Alantoin, 
what else? Antimis nobilis flower oil, beta glucan, and panthenol. And it also contains niacinamide, which is great for brightening the skin. It helps fade acne scars and prevent breakouts. It is actually good for people that have acne. Um, what else did I miss? So yeah, the, the only downside with this product is it contains two types of fragrant components. Fragrant components? Is that even a thing? I don't know. But orange oil contains a fragrant component. That's what I mean. When exposed to the sun, it makes our skin sensitive. If you keep using um, essential oils on your skin without SPF protection, your skin will experience a lot of irritation. So I would advise those people that have a very, very sensitive skin to patch test and be careful when using products like this because like I said, it contains some fragrant components. But also um, you have to use a great array of beneficial ingredients before applying sunscreen like you know antioxidants to compensate or fight the free radicals that would occur when you're outside or even when you're inside so yeah i would recommend this one to people that have dry acne prone um what else oily skin because i have an oily to acne prone skin and i'm loving it <clears throat> excuse me so let me just talk about the feel of this product. It actually feels amazing on the skin. I remember a lot of people were raving about this product. Um, I remember Hiram was talking about it. He loved it because of the aesthetic. Aesthetic? Aesthetic. Yeah, I agree with him actually. And not only that, a lot of people from our Facebook, um, skincare Facebook group, they love this one. I don't know why I keep grabbing this one, but yeah, this one. I'm loving it. And this one is actually cheap compared to some sunscreen sunscreens that you might see here in the market. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, one thing that I would tell you guys is you should either get Asian sunscreens like this one, K-Beauty, J-Beauty, or the ones from the Europe, or the ones that are patented, like the ones made by L'Oreal. I think they made the Maxorel uh, sunscreens, so those are amazing. So what else did I miss here, you guys? Anyway, let me guys know what your experience was when you used this one, and I hope you guys would consider subscribing to my channel, and don't forget to share this one to your friends if you find this one interesting and helpful, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.